Now in this section, we will learn about the different types of the quadrilaterals that exist. Now the first one is a parallelogram. This is the name of the quadrilateral parallelogram. Now what is the definition of this parallelogram? The definition is that it is a quadrilateral in which the opposite sides are parallel to each other. Right? In this example, AB is opposite to DC and they both are parallel to each other. Similarly, AD is opposite to BC and AD is parallel to BC. So this is a case of parallelogram. Right? So the main condition of a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram is that opposite sides should be parallel to each other. AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. Now these are the arrow marks, these are the signs to show that this is parallel to this and this double arrows also show that this AD is parallel to BC. Now what are the properties of the parallelogram? This blue line segment, is, these four are the properties of the parallelogram. Now the properties are that opposite sides are equal. That means not just they are parallel to each other but also they are equal to each other. That means AB is equal to DC and AD is equal to BC in case of a parallelogram. Now opposite angles are equal to each other. Now what are the opposite angles? Angle B is opposite to angle D. So they both are equal to each other. Similarly, angle A is opposite to angle C. Thus, they are equal to each other. So I'll write over here, angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D, right? So this is the first, this is the definition, this is the first property and this is the second property of the parallelogram. Now, sum of the adjacent angle is equal to 180 degree. That means angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree and angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. That means if this angle is 60 degree, then this whole complete angle would be 120 degree. And if this is 120 degree, this would be equal to 120 degree because opposite angles are equal to each other. Now, diagonals bisect each other. In this diagram, diagonal AC and diagonal DB are crossing at this point. Now the property is that diagonals bisect each other. That means when they will cross, they will cut each other into equal halves. This, for example, if this point is O, so AO would be equal to OC and DO would be equal to OB. So this was about parallelogram and the second type is a rhombus. Now what is a rhombus? Rhombus is a parallelogram having all the sides equal. That means it is a special case of parallelogram in which all the four sides are equal to each other. In case of parallelogram, only these opposite sides are equal to each other. But when all these four sides become equal to each other, then they become a rhombus. That means in this case, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. So, this is the main property that def, uh, uh, main property or the this is this property makes it a special case of the parallelogram. And also since it is a parallelogram, so it will follow all the properties of parallelogram. That means AB is parallel to DC, AD is parallel to BC and opposite angles are equal to each other. Angle B is equal to angle D, angle A will be equal to 
angle C. And the angles are adjacent angles are supplementary. So angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So are the angles A plus B and angle D plus C. Also the diagonals will bisect each other. That means this AO will become equal to OC and DO will become equal to OB. But there is a special property, right? Since it is a special parallelogram, there is one special property attached to it which separates it from all other par parallelograms is that diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree. We know that diagonals bisect each other because, sorry, this is a double marked. We know that diagonals bisect each other because it is a parallelogram, but they bisect at 90 degree. What do we mean by this statement? This means that this is a 90 degree this is a 90 degree, this is a 90 degree, this is a 90 degree. All these angles are equal to 90 degree. In this case, we do not know what is this angle or what is this angle, what is this angle or what is this angle. But in case of rhombus, we know wherever the diagonals will meet, they will bisect each other. That means this would be equal to this and this would be equal to this. Moreover, they will bisect each other at 90 degrees. Now these properties are very important. We'll use these properties to solve the questions.